Taking aim as the 2015 Ohio Police and Fire Games are being held right here in the Mahoning Valley this week. That event's estimated to bring in thousands of dollars to the region. 27 First News reporter Derek Lewis is live in the studio tonight to break down the economic impact of this event. Derek? Erica and Dave, I spoke with organizers of the Ohio Police and Fire Games, and they tell me they've had nearly 500 people register for the event happening this week. Business managers say those registrations add up and have a positive effect on the local economy. Every year since 1978, law enforcement, firefighters, military personnel, and their families come to win awards in the Ohio Police and Fire Games. This year, there are more than 35 events, including pistol shooting. It makes you a better person. Obviously, physical fitness has been proven to make employees better, make employees, employees more alert, make employees less likely to commit the ugly word of suicide, which is very, very high percentage in law enforcement. This is the fourth time the event has been held in the Mahoney Valley. The last time was in 2003. It's great. It's good for our economy. It's good for the, our, our first responders and military that live and work in this area. Organizers of the event say they've reached 470 registrations as of Monday, and not everyone is from Ohio. When participants come for the games, they eat, shop, and of course, need a place to stay. You know, there's always a ripple effect, and you know, you see people in the restaurants and, and, and things like that. Um, but, uh, you know, I've lived here all my life, so anytime we bring an event here, it's always a sense of pride. I spoke with a representative of the Mahoning County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Tourism Ohio uses this formula to estimate the number of dollars brought into the area. For every person traveling to the valley on a day trip, it's estimated they'll spend $100 after adding up gas, food, and shopping. For every person staying overnight, it's estimated they'll spend $300 after adding on a hotel room and a quick run to the store in case they left something at home. Based on that formula, the event this week could bring in up to $846,000. Mike Molinterno says the hospitality industry benefits when these events are in town. It's a nice base of business for our hotel, and it's, everything is pretty spread out, so it's, uh, a lot of the hotels in the area are, are benefiting from it. Now, the first event in Mahoney County was back in 1993. Organizers say that's when they seen the peak in the number of enrollments for the Valley totaling more than 1,000 registrations. The Board of Directors selects the host city every year. Next year, the Games will be in Lancaster.